All right, man. Well, after that last set, that was a pretty much of a massacre. I'm sorry for my boys out there, but Rizzy's too good. Um, can I get Court back on stage, though? Yeah. <laughs> no need for no need for interviews. No need for interviews. We're gonna get right into it. Can I get ND64 Beef back on stage? All right, good luck to both of you. Take it away. So beef versus court. This uh, this could be interesting. I I don't see this going well for beef. I'm predicting another 3-0. I really don't see like any scenario where this goes well for beef. Um, beef he has he has a Pika. He has a Mario. I unless unless court goes Fox. I just, I don't see this going well. Um, Court has a Falcon, that's pretty mean. Um, the Falcon actually took uh, games or one game off of Josh Gommel. He has a Yoshi that also took games off Josh Gommel. He has a Pika that got third at Gommel. Like, and it looks like Court is gonna opt for uh, Pikachu, at least in this, in this warm up. Yep, he's warming up with Pika. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's gonna stay Pika. No, of course. no one ever assumes that because it's, it's happened many times where people have been like, "Oh, I'll just warm up as this, and then I'll just switch." Yeah, you never know. You never, never know. know. Of course, Pika's incredibly strong, though. Um, that was the character he really switched to when he moved himself up to the very top of the Brazilian rankings, mm -hmm. uh, finally taking down like Bonze. Um, yeah. We'll see what Bonze has to say about it. I think they're both gonna. <laughs> Be at SmashCon this year. Yeah, I think but, he was a little tired of getting back thrown at like 40 and dying. Yeah, link, it's it's link. The link life is rough. Yes, it is. Uh, but Court with the uh, the red hat Pika. All right. Beef starting off with a with the first combo, getting first blood, reverse ledge di, gets the back throw. I like the idea from Court to up be left and right, but it kind of just put him in a bad position because Beef was ready for it. Okay, gets the up tilt into the back throw. Now, one thing about Quartz Pika, uh, a difference between them, Quartz, Quartz plays very fast. Yes, he does. It, it's difficult to to keep up with his speed. It just seems like he's always one step ahead of you because he's just moving so quickly. Yeah, he, he can be very smothering. Right there, you see his quick zip to ledge from middle stage. And then right off the stage, a uh, ledge hop up there and that led to the stock eventually. Okay, that weak back air manages to get him off stage. Doesn't kill. All right, the up tilt barely misses. Manages to jump out of that grab. Waits for the up tilt. That was really smart, but then he gets the grab. From beef. Tech, tech in place, jab grab. Takes a stock from beef. Oh, you can't push him off the flat. Oh, waits for that back air to end, and then he gets his own. Doesn't tech on the plat, which surprised me. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was, was a little. It was tight. It yeah. was tight. Whether or not he was gonna land on that platform. Uh oh. <laughs> Reverse ledge di again. It's almost like he's trying to do that. Yeah, when you're, especially when you're slightly above the ledge, it's much easier to get that that angle. That'll be a back air. Does he have a jump? Yes, yes he does. Okay, that should be enough. Yeah, yeah he can just hold ledge. Even if Beef had gotten the extension on the up B, he wasn't making that back. Yeah. All right. Nice. That should be a back air. Perfect. All right, we're actually even. Look at this, Beef. Beef is showing people that he is not to be messed with. All right, gets the grab. Okay. <laughs> <Whoops>. um, <laughs> <laughs> Pivot up tilts from, from court in neutral. Up air into up tilt grab. Oh, misses the, th misses the grab, but gets it anyway. They clank down airs. Back and forth. Smart. Oh, that's a bad position to be in. Misses both of his up tilts, though. Somehow, Beef made it through those up tilts. <laughs> oh, forward airs. But then gets grabbed. Beef is so animated when he misses a big play like that. <laughs> he, like, he, like, almost throws himself out, like, off the camera. Yeah, he's he's energetic, man. Part of what from beef getting out of that court air. His DI is insane. 
He, he uses a three finger technique where he kind of just oh, like yeah. goes back and forth with his three fingers. So yeah, uh, in, in 64 we just have Smash the eyes, the only kind of DI we have. Um, but you it, getting through drill attacks, I mean, you can. There's some serious movement. <laughs> yeah. When you're uh, using that Smash the eye. Multi hit moves are usually when you use the eye the most or in extended combos. Um, you you have to hit the stick in the direction you want to go as you're getting hit. Oh, a big man smash. Wow. Beef ties it up. Uh, he's at a percent where a grab in most places on the stage will lose it for him. Um, but oh, he gets the, the grab. grab. Up smash? No, he goes for the double grab. Just getting court off stage. Trying to rack himself for second. up tilting. So. Oh, but forwarders. Yeah, I think the nerves got to him there. He just missed input. Um, that actually could have been it. Yeah. Oh. That was a horrible, bad angle. Horrible angle from B. That was a bad angle. Oh, he got that up tilt on the edge. If he had thrown out another up tilt and then just done the Pika standard, like he had that game. That um, could have been the first non 3 0 right? of the day. Well, unless Beef 3 0 him. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. They, they, I didn't hear a switch. Um, nope. nope. Two Pokeballs, Two unless Pokeball. somebody was going Jigglypuff. <laughs> Which I would not advise. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Quartz got one that uh, he hasn't told anyone about. I've never seen it. Yeah. <laughs> not even in friendlies. <laughs> no love for the puff ball. That's fine. It's a rough life, man. It's a puff wow. Life. What a combo. The turnaround up to was very clean. Man. And uh, Quartz. so Quart, after uh, taking that first game, just starts off with a huge combo. Uh, a lot of people aren't, may not be, might not be as familiar with Court, but he's a combo monster. Um, he was one missed hit away from being in the combo contest finals against Prince. Uh, he's, I mean, he spends a lot of time in training mode on these things. <laughs> I've seen some of his combos; they're unbelievable, and especially in 64, where you don't have a C stick to rely on. All those inputs that you're making for aerials, you have to be pointing in that direction with yeah, the stick. It can be really tough. It's so impressive. And like the, the running, flat drop, back air. Like, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're moving the stick all over the place. You have to flick the stick back to do the back air while you're moving to the left. It's insane. Reverse back air. Okay. No up air there. And despite what it shows in the, in the, in the stocks right now, Beef is not that far behind. No, he's just one stock. One stock behind. Yeah. I was predicting that grab, by the way. Yeah, predicting one stock back. He is not... Um, a lot of people would probably say when going into this, okay, Quartz number one in Brazil. Um, you see this this guy who's, you know, he's not bad, but he's not the greatest. And you would think, okay, this is going to be like a quick, maybe three stock, 3-0, three whatever. But Beef is holding his own. Beef is, I mean, now he's down three to one. Court kind of opened up a little bit more of a lead. The, the problem that Beef is having right now is he, he can't, He's not following up any of these hits. Yeah. He'll, he just tacks on damage, tacks on damage um, until he like gets a grab or something. I think that's partly due to Court being so heads up when he does get hit to up, be out of it like that or, yeah. or throw, out a, throw out a hitbox, whether it's an up air or an up tilt. Just kind of like ruining every everything that Beef is trying to do. That'll be the right. stock. Court that's all over them. He whiffs an up smash, gets a weak reverse up smash. And then just chases the the tech roll on the platform into a jab grab. I mean, there was just it seemed like even when Court was missing things, he was still able to follow up. It just seemed like every option that Beef had was just covered. Every thought that he had was just thought of first by Court. Force in his head. <laughs> I want to know what MSD stands for. MSD. Usually, uh, sponge tag is cap feel. It's like the uh, in Brazil, they all rock the Cafeel tag. Yeah, I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna make be making any guesses. So I don't want to embarrass myself. Does he have something to do with Michigan because he's living there? Maybe. <laughs> Michigan uh, State Department. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So beef with the uh, the blue hat switch. Yep, switches the blue hat. Wizard Pika. Trying to be. Uh, trying to throw out some magic here. I oh. hope. Rather than doing anything um, standard or optimal, he kind of just waits and then up tilts once he gets back. And then Court goes for that reverse nair. Just didn't right. work. Beef gets an up smash, though. Doesn't follow it up with anything. Might have uh, been smarter to just thunder. down B, yeah. Oh, that weak back will be enough to do it. Okay. And you see Court, he keeps doing that. He'll, he'll go and shield oh, on the edge of the platform and just wait for Beef to knock him off so he can follow up. 
Um, he's done it a bunch of times. Beef really needs to recognize that. Yeah. Or just throw out a forward air so it connects. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do something. Oh, man, he's just missing all these follow-ups. There was a there was an up tilt that he managed to get, and then he followed it up with a forward air earlier. He could have just finished the stock with a back air. But stock, stocks are tied, you know? I wouldn't say Cord is doing everything he can to win right now. He, he might be kind of just working on some things. <laughs> just... He's, he's playing like he's in the lab right now. <laughs> yeah. Poor Beef. Uh, it's it's kind of nice to have someone to actually train with, I think is what's going through Port's mind right now. <laughs> All right. Forward smash to neutral, not a good idea. Jot that down. No, no, it's it's not. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times it's just a missed input when someone tries to da like dash away, dash back, back air. They just miss the jump button and end up forward smashing. Man, all Cord had to do was hold ledge there, but like I said, I don't think he's really looking to do the most optimal thing in this situation. Oh, Thundershock actually connects. I feel like it never does. Yeah, <laughs> people always throw it out, but it's it's never really like an actual factor. It kind of just says, okay, don't go in this general area, and then people never do. Yeah, we... Okay, that should... No? So it's not going to take the stock. a little stale there. That was a great angle. But that back girl will do it. Stocks are tied again. We could see uh, the first game taken by Beef here. We could. <laughs> we could. Uh, oh. no, not when he does that. <laughs> Beef wow. channeling his inner Isaiah. <laughs> and just fastball back air off stage SD. Oh, man. Beef, man. You had some opportunities, man. Especially if Beef is able to bring this to last stock. He's really going to want that stock back. Yes, he is. Oh. And he's in a position to do it here. That's another one. All he has to do is... No. Nope. I, th I thought he was just going to F-Smash. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to happen. You know? Uh, Alvin, Alvin really hasn't would recommend. Gone high with like any of his recoveries. He keeps going like just above the ledge and right at it. He was baiting him with that with those uh, nares in neutral. And then as soon as uh, Beef thought he could punish him, he just comes down with a nair. That was Fastball really smart. up air from Beef. Four oh. smashes. And Court jumps off of the ledge while the animation is still out. Oh Almost my did it again. Just grab. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's so close. He almost had this stock like 10 times. Oh my. <laughs> there we go. We're down to last stock in game three. 64% from Beef. ND 64, 64%. Smash oh. 64. Okay. Oh, it's not going to follow up. Oh, misses the forward smash. It was a little too far. And they both went for forward airs, but Court's connected. I think Court is like, yeah, I've got two more games to spend. I'm just going to, like, play with my food a little bit here. Oh, no. Until Court gets into the percent where a grab will take it, and then he goes, oh, wait, I might <laughs> lose the game. Oh, Beef, Beef gets up back there. Zips to ledge. And Court knows he just needs a grab yep. here, and he wins. Oh, man. Beef made a pretty good showing. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. That was I very. Mean, he, kept, he kept it close in those Pika Yeah. Um, that was that was interesting. Yeah. Court moves on. Beef's day is actually over now. Um, pretty impressive showing from him. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Did he, did he get fifth. Fifth place. Yeah. In a Beef, tournament with. Beef